Yeah, it'd probably be fair to say. I think um, we've been a work in progress uh, on record, playing, moving the ball quicker for a fair period now. I, th I said a pre-game on radio, and you know, more up-tempo brand. Um, that's um, seeing us score more and more opportunities. But tonight, what we added was some deeper entries and some better structure for with our tools and small. So, yeah, that was pleasing. Oh, uh, well, first, I think, can you ignore the first quarter? Like, we did have eight shots on goal. Do you know what I mean? I thought our start was pretty solid and and they, they come back late. And then, quite simply, we just started winning the ball around the stoppages and they went forward and, and took some opportunities, you know. So, um, we just started winning the ball and, and pressuring them and, and going forward quickly. Yeah, it was pretty simple. And how big a lift is this or how much of a confidence boost is this going to such a big game next week and then the critical part of the season? Yeah, well, the first thing is, um, what was the question? So, you know, how big of a boost is to play that sort of yeah. thing, you know, yeah. heading into the critical part of the season? Yeah, um, we always talk about confidence comes from actions. So, it's because confidence is just an emotion, you know. So, you get it from executing and delivering on action. So, what we get out of tonight is some belief in if, you know, what we focus on, we deliver on, we're, we're going to get a result. So, that's the first thing. Um, Second thing, we, we come here tonight, there was no hiding tonight. I mean, I said post-game, bring it on. They're a formidable opponent in good form and they wanted our scalp and there was nowhere to hide and I thought we stood up to a man, you know, so out of that we get some confidence. And But there, there's bigger challenges out there, clearly, you know, so of which the Carlton Football Club, yeah, are clearly one. And, you know, I think you take your hat off to Sydney today and I think it just highlights what you need to do. That you, you don't limp in the finals. No one sends you a, you know, voucher through the mail. You got to get it done. And they went down and delivered at Cadinia Park, and, and they've earned the ride. And obviously they go in favourites against Brisbane, and we go in underdogs against Carlton. So, but it's still great to be alive fighting for a home final. It's as simple as that. Does it mean anything to you that you can now confirm that you've equalled the club record of four consecutive years in the finals? To be honest, I'm unaware and. Yeah, they're just platitudes, really. I just, it's my job. I do my job. Do you think you're a team who are maybe more making up the numbers or posing a genuine premiership threat in September, Ross? I haven't thought about it. Been focused, trying to bank four points to create an opportunity, you know, so. You're confident your footy then will stand up to that September test as it has in the past? Let's get there and see what happens. Is it'll it be self evident when it occurs or doesn't occur. Said that uh, everyone stood up to a man. If you can individualise, if that's okay, your, your skipper was obviously very good tonight. Must have been pleasing. Yeah, he was good. He was good considering he's been under the spotlight, and uh, I thought his team gave him good supply. And yeah, I thought he his magnificent leadership tonight in, in a big game, and and that's why we love Nick. You know, the quarter time um, you spent a lot of time with Clint Jones uh, after he he was on Wells, I think, in the first quarter. What was your main message to him? Oh, I thought Wells got to work a bit, didn't he? I thought his first quarter was pretty good. And it was just, to be specific, it was about some um, positioning at stoppages. I just thought he he wasn't in a position I'd like him to be, so I sort of pulled rank and said, this is how I'd like you to do it. What about Cosy tonight, Ross? To have both him and Nick really imposing themselves and clunking their marks must be really pleasing. Yeah, again, I think if you're going to be a threat, you need um, power forwards and perfect conditions tonight. and. We really missed Justin last week, and as, as a tandem act with Milne and Snyder at their feet, there, that's a really dangerous front half, you know. So, um, you know, I admire Justin because you know he's had lots of interruptions this year, and all he does is dig in for us when he can, and he's worked incredibly hard. It's so hard to get momentum when you've had an in interrupted pre-season and early season. It, it takes great mental strength, to be honest, and. He, he's got amazing talent, really, and, and when he gets a run at it, you, you start to see it. So, he, yeah, he's a valuable commodity. Nick seemed to play deeper tonight for longer periods than he has throughout the year. Is that the blueprint going forward? Oh, I just let him do what he wants, really. I said, if you want to play deep, play deep. If it's coming in, if we need you up high, come and play high. So it's not unlike Franklin or, you know, Pavlich. They, they get to run their race. So, you know, Nick painted his own canvas tonight. He went back for a little bit in the second quarter. Was that his call? Or, or no, was, yeah, yeah. Nick just sort of makes a decision where to go. So, 
Yeah, it was good leadership. Really fantastic. It was the right thing to do at the right time. And it's not about the little green bloke coming out. It's about we feel we have some great leadership here. I thought all our leaders stood up tonight, and in particular Nick. You know. Ross, how, how would you just describe sort of the mood internally this year compared to the last couple of years, where at the end of the season you've been very much at the pointy end of the ladder and possibly a bit underrated externally this year? Well, not underrated. I think what we are is what we are. We're one, <laughs> one eight and written off, and, and that's fair enough. You know, so it's been a, you know, um, a lot of hard work, and you know, there's no. It's like when you're behind, coming from six goals behind. There's no margin for error. So we slipped up last week, and we knew we had to deliver tonight. You know, so certainly you, we all feel the weather getting a bit warmer and and training, you know, so you can feel the change, you know, September's coming and when you've been there, it's, I think the nostrils are flaring a little bit and, you know, the question is, have you got the desire, the hunger to do what's required to get there? Because it's a brutal competition. I thought tonight, last week, we didn't deliver. There's no assumptions. Just because we did tonight, don't assume we're going to do it next week. We didn't do it last week. We did it tonight. Don't assume it's going to happen next week. You've got to mentally and physically prepare again and start again. But certainly one, there are no illusions and we got it done and let's all move on. Let's start preparing for the Blues now. I think it's as simple as that. Thanks, make, guys. What did you make of the hit on Cozzy just finally, Ross? I didn't see uh, it. I, I, I didn't see Cozzy's hit. Nick Rewald, sorry. Get it right. <laughs> you know I would have been looking the other way. <laughs>